Hey guys, and welcome back. This is episode five in our beginner series on Roblox Studio building. I don't think a single one of these have had the same intro. Anyways, today I wanna to cover unions. It's a big scary thing for a lot of new developers. Maybe they don't understand how they work. Maybe they see everybody saying they're horrible. Guys, today we're gonna to go over how they work. So in the previous video, we made this door and we wanted to add extra detail to it with this extra part here. However, this is not how a normal door would actually look. It would be inset into the part. But if we put this inside our part, as you can see, we can't see it anymore. So what a union does is it lets us cut holes into parts so we could put other stuff inside them if we wanted to. So we're gonna make this part super big. As you can see, it comes out of both sides of the door and that is super, super important. Now, when we click on this part, we're gonna be in our model tab again today. Click negate. What this does is turns our selected part into a negative part. And this is what we're gonna do to subtract this shape out of whatever we're trying to cut. So while we have this selected, we're gonna hold the shift and click on the door as well, or the part that we want to cut. If it's inside of a group, you'll need to hold alt and shift, but ours isn't grouped right now, so it doesn't matter. Now that we have this, two parts are selected, a negative part and a normal part. We're gonna click union. And as you can see, we now have a door or a hole cut in our door. And this part is just lines now, instead of a full box. Now, if we wanted to add some detail into our door, we could put that same piece across, sink it into the door a little bit. Maybe we wanna go a bit lighter, and then we could make some details that come back out, like some of these lines. Let's go ahead and make those darker so they match the original door. And then we covered snapping in the last episode, so let's put this to one. And now we have a door with a way better design. I think every other one of these should be gone though so all in all a union is just a way to cut out of a part that you already have let's use this block and one more block and let's say we want this corner cut out of our base block we're going to negate this top part hold shift select this one and then click union and as you can see any part of the negative part that was inside our real part is cut out of it now don't worry you can always undo these later if i click on this and click separate it's going to go back to this and then I could delete or I could move this part if I wanted to edit how much it was cutting. We'll click union again, and there we go. In fact, you could make a super simple couch with this. Let's click union. Now let's add in another part. We'll set this 2.25, and we could use these as the cushions of this chair. Let's go ahead and make these like a crimson, and this a different type of red. One thing to note, any union, you will have to go down into your properties, and there will be one called use part color. You'll have to check that if you want your union to use whatever color you're setting up here. I know it's a super short one for today, but unions are not too complex. The more crazy your shape gets, the more unoptimized the union will be. So if it's something super simple, like cutting a hole in one part or cutting a hole like this, it might be better just to build this out of parts instead of using a union. As you can see, I can grab this, I'll duplicate it, duplicate it again, and duplicate it again, and we end up with pretty much the same thing. Of course, I would take more time to make it look nice if I needed this asset for something. So far, we've learned how to place parts, use unions, use colors, properties, and all the things in between. We know how to build stuff for ourselves. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to not work at all and just have stuff built for you. 